Hello, everyone. This is Linda Drummond from Network in Action. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Justin. How are you doing, Justin? I'm doing great. How, are, how about yourself? I am doing fabulous. It is so nice to be able to meet you. How about telling our viewers a little bit about who you are and what you do? Yes, um, my name is Justin. I have been here in the Houston area in Texas for about uh, seven years now. I'm originally from New Jersey. I went to college up in New Hampshire, got a degree in finance, and ended up getting in the mortgage industry um, back in 2013. Um, I absolutely love it. I love being able to assist clients and make an impact in their lives and the community. Um, outside of that, uh, I love sports. I love being outdoors. I love food. Um, I have a wonderful girlfriend named Sonia. I have a wonderful cat named Cammy. And uh, yeah, just a normal local guy here. And if you need any help with the mortgage, I'm here to help. So. That's great. So do you happen to be a native? A native of Texas? Yeah, Texas. I'm from, uh, I, I'm actually from South New Jersey. So, um, wow. So, this is a long way from home, per se. Just a little How did bit. You decide to get down here. Uh, originally was for family. Uh, my grandparents lived in Beaumont. Um, so, I actually was just coming down to visit and uh, so happened to get licensed here a couple of weeks before I came. And um, long story short, I ended up moving in with them for a little bit. My grandfather, unfortunately, uh, was sick and was able to actually, you know, help out and take care of him before he passed away. Um, and really just fell in love with Texas and ended up moving here to the Houston greater area and uh, really love it. So. That is wonderful. Sorry, I understand about family, but what a what a gracious thing to do to come down to take care of them. And I'm glad you like Texas. We uh, we're a pretty big, awesome state. So tell me, um, do you have a success story you might be able to share with us? Yeah, um, which kind of piggies backs uh, piggybacks off my uh, story, you know me moving here and coming to Texas because um, I've moved probably about five times in the last 10 years, uh, you know, being in New Jersey, then going to New Hampshire, then going back to Jersey, going to Texas, then moving twice from then. It's just been a lot of moving and being in the business I'm in with all commission, all referral base, um, it's difficult. Uh, I'm not going to lie, when I moved here, um, I was barely making enough money at first to support myself, um, you know, and I worked hard and learned a lot and got my experience in, um, and it really was the end of 2019, 2020 that I really um, saw some results. And uh, in 2020, I was actually ranked, I think, three or four in my branch in, in production. Um, I was able to assist about um, 50 families uh, that year, uh, which was a really, you know, good moment for me. Uh, and ever since then, I, I haven't skipped a beat and um, really kind of happy with where I'm at from where I've been, you know, and anyone listening, um, I would encourage that never give up on what your passion is. And if you work hard, uh, it will pay off. Now, some people pays off quicker than others, you know, but um, at the end of the day, if you're good at what you do, you like what you do, and people can um, portray that, uh, there's no reason why you can't be successful, especially in the greatest country in the world um, with the U.S. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of a story I, I like to tell with kind of how I've gone from nothing to something, I guess. But there's still a lot of room for growth, um, which keeps driving me. I want to keep doing better. So. 
That is a great story. And you're absolutely right. Just never give up. Uh, so, Justin, if people would like to reach out to you, how can they contact you? Awesome question, because if you send someone a referral, they don't answer. It's kind of frustrating from the person sending it, right? Especially in our business, we're such a fast moving um, type of industry. Uh, you always have to be available. So um, I give out my direct cell phone to all clients, all referral partners. I don't have a 1-800 number. Um, you can call me day or night, um, weekday, weekend. Uh, if I'm not available, um, I usually text right back or call right back. Um, so I'm really easy to reach, um, which of course is paramount when you've got somebody that is looking to buy a home and you want them to be taken care of. My goal is to make sure that they are nothing but impressed and call you afterwards and say, hey, thank you, Linda, for sending me Justin. I had an amazing conversation. He was able to get me pre-approved and you know, 30 minutes and even sent me a real estate agent. Um, so I think that's very important um, in the communication side of it. So. Great. Well, would you mind sharing your number with us? Yes. My number is 281-743-5348. Great. Well, Justin, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today. I look forward to meeting you in person at some point, and I wish you the best of luck with referrals. So I encourage anyone out there that needs to know, you know, and needs a mortgage broker to please get in touch with Justin. Thank you very much, Justin, and I will talk to you soon. You have a great day, Linda. You too.